Hello guys, welcome to We Are Done's Kids and Classes, um, episode two. Um, and today is light machine guns and submachine guns. Brought to you by the Bling Daddy. And brought to you by the Owen Kit. And Grant turned on PSN. Kipper and Sons won. Okay, this is the Type 95 with thermal. And... Okay, this is the Type 95 with thermal and shotgun attachment um, and it, it looks really weird to me from the side but when you scope in it looks really good okay so let's let's use a whole clip over here okay as you can see it just went like that completely Let's see if it went back through here. None of it did. Okay. So now, the CEM901 with um, shotgun attachment and thermal. There's been a lot of rumors about this gun saying that if you put a shotgun attachment or a, um, a grenade launcher on it, it increases the fire rate. And that fact, I think, is actually true. And look at that. Okay, so. I'll filter controls. Okay, so that's the spread with the thermal and shotgun. I just want to do this shotgun for fun. Okay. Okay, this is a PM9 with an ACOG and suppressor. From the side, like I said last episode, uh, it just looks stupid because the gun is so small and you're holding it with one hand. And in real life, it's actually classified as a machine pistol. If you look at the spread on that, it just looks like, I don't know, someone's leg, maybe? And yeah, that's a round from that. And now the AA-12 with um, holographic. If you look at the side, um, it just is cut off. Like, part of it is cut off. So, that looks weird. But, we're going to shoot a whole mag. Okay, so, if you can see that, that's the spread on it. And, the PM9, I give a rating of 8 out of 10. And, the AA-12, a 9 out of 10. Okay, PK, this is a PK Pachang with extended mags, um, at least I think you, it's pronounced PK Pachang, and um, it looks really, really weird. Let's see how it fires. And after this, we'll look at the spread. If you look at the spread on that, no, don't reload. Just let it reload. Okay, so that's what it looks like. It's just giant. It's a giant spread. And this is the Mark 46 um, with ACOG and um, suppressor. So let's see how it works. Okay, so if you look at the spread, it's all in one packed up thing. So, the PK Pachang, I give a rating. Oh, it's PK. That had a suppressor. That Mark 46 had a suppressor. So, it kind of kept it a little closer. So, for the 
um, PK Pachang with um, thermal optics and um, with thermal scope and um, extended mags. I give a rating of um, 7 out of 10 and the Mark 46 with the ACOG and the um, suppressor I give a 10 out of 10 because the spread is so close together and I was doing it at the exact same range. So, but let move on to the next gun. Okay, this is an M60E4, I think, um, with rap rapid fire and thermal. It looks really weird from the outside, and it. It's just odd, so let's check the spread on this thing. As you saw in the tape, some went all the way up there. Okay, this is the MP7. Uh, that's not that weird. Yeah, that's not weird. Actually, yeah, it kind of is weird. Okay. So if you side in, look at that. It's so weird. And okay, so let me shoot it. As you saw, again, it like one bullet went up there. Look. Okay, so I give the M60E4 a rating of um, five out of five, and this MP7 a six out of five. I mean, a 6 out of 10 and a 5 out of 10 because it just. Okay. Okay, this is the G36C Custom. But if you look down at the bottom, it has a grenade launcher and it looks really weird. So, the spread on this thing is the same as the regular guns. Oh. Let's just see the spread. Okay, if you look at that, that just went up. Okay, this is the L86 LSW with, um, I think it was rapid fire and the holographic. If you look from the side, it looks pretty weird. But let's shoot it just in case. Okay, my rating on this is really low since it went all the way up there um, on the L86 LSW because it went all the way, like, up here. Oh, that's a problem. And the G36C, I gave a, um, a rating of 10 out of 10 and the L86 LSW, uh, 3 out of 10 because it kicked up a lot. Okay, that's it for today. Let's do some entertainment. <laughs> Okay, that is it for today, and bye.